welcome back one and all to a Brexit estate. Hard by the darkest dungeon where time is not necessarily on our side at the moment. Vernon is in here receiving treatment and I would like to treat some of our other... where are they? Where are they? Right. Oh yeah, these are receiving stress treatment. And after that... What on earth? Oh, huh, something weird happened there. After that, I would like to treat Sister Senna and lock Irrepressible and hopefully remove Torn Rotator Cuff. So, essentially, while we did get a rather good look at the Viscount last week, this time we're going to play for time for about two weeks and prepare and go in there, which will mean needing to get more money. So I'm anticipating an Antiquarian run. Possibly even a high-level antiquarium run. Do we have a short? We do. Um, sniper's ring could be useful. And protective collar, okay. And on the subject of the sniper's ring, actually, Marvin Seo has completely overhauled the falconer. Uh, all of her skills now do rather different things to what they did before. I have no idea what's what. I've barely had a chance to get a look at it. Now, he has released a legacy mod for people who'd like to use the original version of the class with her old skill set. And I don't know if I want to use that or the new one. I do know the new one adds more things into the game. She has a nemesis monster who hunts her down, similar to the Shieldbreaker's snakes. Um, I don't know. But essentially, unfortunately, I don't have time to look at it too closely today. Otherwise, I would absolutely do that. So, I'm thinking... Maybe... Something like this. Yeah. Yeah, that can work. Um, ooh, right. That's her skill set. going for Warrens. Her blight isn't very good there. Let's go like this. Keep it nice and simple. And then you are lunging about. You've got Holy Lance. This means Combat Vestal roll will not work very well. But okay. Oh, right, trinkets. I'm sure we have some better ones we can use. Oh my god, we do. Yes. <laughs> um, hmm. It'll balance out the damage. Uh, okay, okay, let's see what else. I mean, if we go like this... Hmm. Thing is, reducing minus 3% critical really, for plus 5 pro, really hurts the Crusader because his crit buff increases his protection. I mean... Okay, plus 10% melee damage, right, what else is... Yeah, what about this plus 10... Oh, that's... Uh, I see why it's done that. Malay skills only. Uh, I can try this combination. Right. As for you... Why is this up here in the... Oh, okay, that's better. In the class trinket section. Um, we can at least change that for something, right? Uh, range skills... Like... Yeah, alright, that's why. And then you... Dodge. Yeah, increasing protection and dodge could be good. Um, what is a dodge at the moment? 25, got 35. 
Yeah, that'll be good. And we should also be on the lookout for some more new grave robber trinkets. And I should be taking that. Well, one of one of you should have it. Um, Who's for lowest blight resistance? Um, 85, 90, 90. Right. Here we go then. Do we really need three of these? Probably not. I don't think I use them very much. Four! You know what? We might be able to treat ourselves before heading off this week. Who else? Right. Vernon has the Crimson Curse, so whoever's going in here will be a Crimson Curse person. Hmm. We could just treat Mercurial there. Wait. Why is who? Oh, that's Marius. That explains a lot. Right. Okay. There we go. That's what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hmm. In which case... Look, I know Marius. He is an incredibly cheery, optimistic person. <laughs> and you know what? There we go. Much better. Okay. Now then. It would be nice to go hunt down one of these bosses soon, but not just yet. That would be really nice, but it is the hag. Wait a minute. Got me thinking now. Leap of Faith could only strike Cauldron, couldn't it? Yes, we'd want something like Ludovic. A Crusader. Ah, so we'd like a Bounty Hunter, a Hellion, maybe. Um, set, yeah, setting up like a shuffle party. Hmm. Thing to remember about shuffle party skills is that um, against the hag, rank four will virtually never exist. So skills that need to be used from the back two will need to be used from the back one, essentially. No, no, I'll stick with my original plan because I am on limited time today, after all. Right, food. Uh, lots of bandages, half a dozen torches, plenty of this, a little bit of that, extra that, oh, not quite, right, uh, because we are on a higher end, and one, two, three, and there we go. So, Main goal isn't necessarily to complete the quest, just to get the heroes out of therapy in town. <laughs> so 
so that they can go back and fight the Viscount and wreck his day. Because he's been ruining ours for far too long. And then we'll get to go for the Countess, who apparently has a much shorter dungeon. Or to so I've heard. To our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. All right, we'll just go round the roundabout. Ooh, not fun. Carelessness will find no clemency in this place. But she did resist you. Think that. Which is good because I was about to investigate with Sir Galliard there. Let us wrap something around with knives as we pull them out. Excellent. We don't need invitations to the Crimson Court at the moment. So let's push on with our investigation and exploration. Oh, nice scouting one. Double Curio. If neither is a Crimson Courtyard one, we'll be in luck. Oh, damn it! Okay. And then we have another big, disgusting egg sack thing. And aha! The Swine Skyver! The scourge of many a heroic group. Ha! I have a purpose and a reason, and that is to strike surely at the heart of darkness. And now the pain begins. <laughs> I like that, it just sounds like scaffolding poles falling about. Yeah, these things are like metal all the way along, they aren't just like spear tips or anything. They're like ginormous metal skewers. Gotcha! Ah, uh, there we are, that's how he gets back again. But the hook one keeps wanting to move backwards, so it's okay. <laughs> that was rubbish. <laughs> Confluence of skill and purpose. All right, we're going to need to play it a little bit more carefully for the next few rounds, but that's him hopefully dealt with soon. Their formation is broken. Maintain Wait. the offensive. Right about now would be great. Hey. <laughs> nice. So now we've got these two bleeders to be concerned about. We're going to use Bulwark of Faith, followed by Inspiring Cry next round because she has a lot of stress. Ow! Wait, what? Oh man, she is going to death's door. That is not good. All right, just bandage up, shuffle back. We can do this. We can absolutely do this. <laughs> Don't get stunned! Oh. Vision. The end approaches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit him, he can take it. He's a big boy. Yeah! You take that deep stab! Alright, we're recovering. Still had a bit of a rough moment there. Wasn't expecting to hit Death's Door this early in the run. I should have been. I've got some level 4 skills, some level 4 gear. This party isn't fully optimised for this. A <coughs> little bit of a sore throat there. I'm doing that to counteract the bleed. My god, that's a big bleed.
So we'll be using that. And you know what? We're going to work that stress down a little as well. Okay, okay. Nicely done. That mark is really working for us. I think we'll pull through. But there we go. The light, the promise of safety. It's okay, we have an antiquarian. With a That's a cookery, isn't it? It's not a jambia. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. So I could shift her for a combat vessel build, but level 2 skills and we have a couple of shuffling party members, so not a good idea. Alright. Well, we're getting there. We just have to look at most of the rooms and you are an antiquarian, so you will open the box. We don't need portraits very much at the moment. So I'm willing to skimp on that. Okay. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Well, hopefully, because of that really nasty fight early on, that was most of the danger in this dungeon, and we're going to have it kind of easy for a little while. There's a little weird bit there. I, could, I think I could see the join of the two tiles joining there. On the pillar. Yeah, there's a little mismatch. That line is slightly higher than this one. Oh well. It's still fun. Uh oh. Alright, we have a lot of priorities here. Well, if he's marked anyway, we might as well do something about it. Throw up a protect me. Hey, if he's constantly moving to the back, that's going to make it harder for the swine tour to benefit from being at the back. Here we go. Mortality clarified in a single strike. That really hurts. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> right. Ah, oh, one shy. So the real danger here isn't the Swine Tour. The danger is bleeding when the Swine Tour attacks. Yeah, the Swine Tour is going to get us down to Death's Door, but it's the bleeding from the Meat Hooker that's going to kill us. If we let it. As the Fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Right, we want to make sure to tidy up the body. We don't want to give him room to manoeuvre. We need to hem him in on all sides and murder this thing. Wow, 40 pro at this level, that's impressive. Right, I'm just gonna give everyone a bit of protection. And by protection, I don't mean the protection stat. I mean, you know an inability to get hit. Oh, ow! Don't bleed! Don't you dare bleed! Continue the onslaught. Destroy. 
them all. And now we're getting somewhere. Come face us, pig man. I must say, I really like the swine tour as a monster. It's just Unnerved, so impressive. Unbalanced. Oh, that was te level three equipment. My God, she's getting an upgrade when we get back to town. <laughs> I mean, I knew some of my high-level heroes were cannot be left unanswered. a little under-equipped, but I didn't think it was quite that bad. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Definitely glad I didn't take her up against a boss now. She would be in a terrible state. Speaking of states. Oh, that's nasty. That's a lot of protection. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. Oh, this is going to take a while. And we don't have any way to debuff his protection at all. Which means, I can do some stress removal. Yeah, seeing a positive. It's got to happen eventually. <laughs> I know, I know. Sometimes it's just pretty rough. Exposed to oh a killing God. blow. What is it? Oh, dodge! Of course. <laughs> of course, sir, crit buff is dodge. Excellent. Ow, poo. That was not fun. The wounds of war can be healed. Wait, that is a. But never hidden. That's not a profane scroll, it's for sacred scroll. You need to bear that in mind. Okay. Nice and slow, nice and steady. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Just working our way down here, carving away great shanks of this mighty mound of meat. Reducing him to ruin and indignation, as if he was ever dignified in the first place. The ground quakes. Inspiration and improvement. Could be worse. Could be much worse. Yes! Eyes alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. The fiend falls. We do have a lot of crests, so I'm going to hold off on those. Right, we just want to swap. Wait, no. You. Here we go. Okay. Let's move on and dig our way through this pile of rubble. Unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Now this time. You will not let your baser instincts get the better of you. In radiance, may we find victory. Okay. Uh, treasure? I don't know. Might not be worth it. You know, you like old dusty tomes. 
Apparently they were just really boring reading. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Oh, that's a problem. Right, okay. In theory, we can pull through this. Now this is going to really hurt. What's his speed? Nine. A dizzying blow to body and brain. He might get a double turn. That's why it's going to hurt. Oh, that looked really painful. Don't get stunned. Yeah. Oh. The will to fight falters. <laughs> Use that. Um. Start healing. Maybe the dodge buff would just be better than an outright heal because I've got this. You just... Mm. Well, you didn't get the massive hit, so you're kind of okay. Oh, great. Well, that'll need treating back in town then. Right. What is this? Ah, resistances. Okay. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, this is gonna be a just a painful encounter. Okay, so I know I was indecisive about that extra room on the side of monsters and treasure. I think after this one, this is probably enough fighting for this. Oh god. Okay, that's not good. My good grief. Okay, just all the healing. <laughs> all in one place. Except not quite all in one place. Oh, new round. This is going to get rough. Mm. Don't get stunned. Please, thank you. Okay, I think he's the weak point, the linchpin that must be just not loose. Wow, that was a good hit. Uh, 19, 16. Because he's got protection as well. I know he looks much worse off, but actually he's slightly better and... Oh my goodness. I wonder if we can just destroy that body to drag him to the front to limit his options a little. You'll probably have to destroy this one as well. Lovely. Oh, don't get stunned. Please don't get stunned. You need a healer, you are a healer. And as if there was ever proof needed, that was it. <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is perfect. No, don't go back. Oh, somewhat less perfect now. Impressive. Excellent. Oh, that was rubbish. Okay, things are finally improving. Yeah, so like the swine tour, he does like to be at the back. 
So while he is a high priority target because he just does so much damage, removing all his support is actually highly beneficial. A momentary abatement. It just takes longer, so it's a matter of enduring the damage. Man, we really need to work on her weapons and armor. And skills, probably. Don't worry, we'll work your stress down next time. Eh, go like that. He's in rank 2, it could be more dangerous. It is more dangerous. Okay. Ah, and a stun as well. So we're going to hit the body. Then we're going to hit the body. It does mean that stress removal is delayed for a round, but hey. A time to perform beyond one's limit. If it works, it works. Just keep tapping him there, draining away his health. A devastating blow. We might try for a kill this round. It could happen. Probably not gonna happen now though. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? I take that back. I'm going to try using. No, holy water doesn't work on this. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Let's see what it does. Uh, accuracy and critical, apparently. Nice. We just go this way, open the box with the antiquarian before I forget, and make it to that room at the end of the corridor and then hopefully we can leave. Let us return to town and be grateful that we managed to survive and upgrade her gear. Okay, that's rather ominous. The twisting tunnels seem a little less impossible. Don't know what happened there. Yes, yeah, so we got about six and a half thousand out of that. That's nice. Let's see if our heroes underwent any interesting life-changing events. Ashen, oh god. On we weak grip on life. Good grief, Kira. That's tragic. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. Word of our predicament has spread, and a new crop of aspiring corpses step from the stagecoach. So we have many, many heroes to recruit this week, although our roster's rather full. Rosnav spent a night on the town and recovered 70 stress and is longer, no longer masochistic. Seren prayed and recovered 86 stress. Seren meditated and recovered 70 stress and is no longer fearful. Sir Wrexham underwent effective quirk treatment and removed nervous. Marius removed mercurial. Vernon is now constantly irrepressible. And lots of people thirsting for the blood. Let's see if there's anyone completely amazing here. Mm, yeah, I'm probably not even going to look at them. Uh, and it doesn't affect the crystal mercenaries here. Oh, crystal flagellant. Crystal fanatic. Uh, crystal flagellant. Steady crystal flagellant. That's an interesting one. Uh, probably okay. Right. 
I did say that upon returning to town, Kira would be getting an equipment upgrade. Um, might as well Oh, 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 oh. Only vampiric spirits. I'm not going to treat those yet. Because I want Sister Senna to go in here and get that locked. Get that dealt with as well. Which means... Oh my god. Yeah, we're also treating this. Alright. So next week we'll be setting out on another time passing mission. Um, skills. Oh my god. That's getting upgraded. So Galliard, you're kind of good across the board. Kira will upgrade that because it worked very well for us. And Gertrude will upgrade those too. Right, I think that about wraps it up for this week. I hope you've all enjoyed it, and I'll look forward to seeing you all in the next one. I'll say bye-bye for now, and cheerio!